Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish, and I'm here today reviewing FTNT. I did not do anything with this gap today. I took a look at it, and I'm very familiar with usually my opponent in reference to trading uh, when I choose to look at gaps. And this pattern here is something that day traders usually look to buy, um, but it is not a long. It's not a long, even though the stock's rallying today, would never buy this, and uh, I also didn't short it and it didn't set up right for me. But the bottom line is the stock traded down for like a week and then had a big gap down and very often traders look to buy these types of gaps to fill the gap. There, that is not a strategy, there's nothing to fill, that makes absolutely no sense, but I do know what, again, the people on the opposite side of a trade would do and I know that traders typically would look to buy something like this. This very well could have been a short today, but it didn't set up right. So what is my process in the morning? I get up in the morning and I rate the gap for my 26 point rating system. Then I also watch for the stock when it opens to set up. And this did not set up the way that I would have wanted it today to convince me to take the trade. I'm gonna go over here. So if you look here actually at this right in here, this looks like it might hold, but I didn't like the open here. And then you see the flip. So this pop on through is people that shorted this here that at the stop over the high and day traders trying to buy it. They may have bought it here, they may have bought it here. But you see the stock really isn't going anywhere, okay? After this one big pop up here, it just flatlined. This is not the way institutions uh, or institutional money moves a stock. So in other words, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that my gap rating method depicts when an institution is gonna buy something or sell it. Institutions are not buying the stock today. I know it's rallied, I know it's green, I know if you bought it, at the right place, maybe you could have made money going long it. But the bottom line is that I am looking for institutional money. That's what makes the big moves in stocks and what gives me conviction to take size in my trades. And it gives me the accuracy also in the numbers, not only for the entry and the stock, but the target as well, okay? So this flip today, I didn't do this. I didn't do any trades today. One of the things that has, experience has given me is you know, not only a good skill set where I can read something live, which I did today uh, with this gap here and also many gaps, is that also I'm very patient. I'm patient when I don't see something, patient not just for the trade to set up, but patient overall in the week or patient on the month waiting for the good ones, which this was not today. This was not a good long. This was not a good short. This was not anything to trade whatsoever. It was a no play. So it very well could have worked though. It was a valid gap to rate. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. And as I said before, I know that very often traders will look in this type of pattern to buy it. It is not a good quality buy. One of the reasons that I'm very good at calling good longs is because I know what a good buy looks like and I know what a good short looks like. And if you can't determine the difference, it will be hard for you to have conviction in either direction, going long or short. So I have a high degree of conviction and confidence in what I do based on my gap rating method system and also the skill set and experience I have to read live, live action, uh, which I did here today. If you'd like more information, you can email me. The next Golden Gap class is October 22nd and 23rd. If you wanna trade out the rest of the year with me in the fall, it'd be a great class to take to do it so you get the information you get the 26 points in the class and you're in the entries and the exits and the targets and when to stay away like days like today. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.